Boketov. I'm Stephen Benoon, and you're watching Israeli News Live. We have very breaking news, very serious breaking news coming out of Iraq this morning there. At 12 midnight last night, ISIS forces within uh, a city called al-Baghdadi in Iraq, which is close to Ain al-Assad, a military training base with for the United States. There is between three to 400 Marines that are there. Uh, there are Marines who are there that are training the uh, Iraqi forces. Uh, there are special, uh, special observers and trainers there at this base. And it was ISIS who have who broke into a, a, some sleeper cells that were within sight of the city there. Uh, and then, of course, ISIS forces c coming in from the west and east also joined into the fighting. They have overtaken in the town of Al Baghdadi. And of course, there is a great concern that these ISIS forces, as they have done many times in the past when they take over a town near a military base, will also attack the military base. Uh, and they did so with very quick force, and they have overrun the town uh, very rapidly. And uh, of course, it is being said that the United States government is very much aware of the circumstances. But of course, the uh, foolishness of the Obama administration is saying that they would prefer that the Iraqi forces bring the situation under control. Control, uh, that they don't have to get involved in it. Well, it's quite ironic. If Syrian forces or the, excuse me, the ISIS forces there in Iraq were to take captive any American soldiers there, we will certainly see a bloodbath on national news all across the world. Why would the Obama administration even consider the possibility that Iraqi forces are able to fight and combat the ISIS forces? They've not been able to do so since, and they won't be able to do so now. Let's take a listen. We caught this news this morning on Al Jazeera. I'd like for you to listen to the actual broadcast being brought there. Fighters attacked the besieged western town of al-Baghdadi, that's in Ambar province, and it's close to Ain al-Assad Air Base. That's where U.S. Marines are training Iraqi forces. Now, most surrounding towns have already fallen under ISIL control after fighters advanced quickly across the Syrian border last year. Imran Khan is our correspondent with more from Baghdad. The attack began around 12 p.m. on Thursday, and what Iraqi security forces are telling us that a number of what they say were ISIL sleeper cells activated themselves within the center of the town of Baghdadi and took over a number of buildings. They were then reinforced by ISIL fighters coming in from the west of the city and were able to take and control a number of government buildings. However, what we're hearing from the Iraqi security forces is they were able to go in and be able to take control of the town itself. However, well, local sources say that there are still a number of ISIL fighters within the center of the town itself, and clashes are still ongoing. Now, the Americans are very aware of this. They have about 300 uh, uh, security training advisors within Ain al-Assad base itself. Now, they would much rather that the Iraqi forces go in and take control and do the predominant, uh, predominantly all of the fighting to get rid of the ISIL, who are very close to the base itself. Baghdadi is very close. But what we've seen time and time again is this tactic of taking over a town and a village near a government base and using that as a staging post. Now, there are conflicting reports as to whether ISIL fighters still remain in the center of Baghdadi itself. However, it is a tactic we've seen time and time again from ISIL fighters, and it is a real concern. This is very disheartening to see that the Obama administration is... Uh, not willing to immediately go into action. It just makes you wonder what the Obama administration really has in mind. Are they wanting U.S. soldiers to be taken captive? You know, they would probably sure, surely outwardly say no, but it is very discouraging to see that they have not immediately done something about this situation, at least strengthen the arms that are there. 400 or 300 Marines is n and by no means able to withstand a thousands of ISIS military uh, people coming in on a base rapidly. So I, I just have to question the Obama administration and what their intentions are in this particular case here. Again, very serious breaking news. Al-Baghdadi has fallen to ISIS hands, a city right next to Al -As uh, Ain al-Assad, a military training base, United States Marines in this base in Iraq. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.